We talk a lot about food at the World Trade Organization, don't we? Chili? No, thank you. We do. Food is important. Not even a little bit? Uh, no. We will probably <laughs> never agree on a common level of spiciness, will we? <laughs> Are you sure about chili? Let's talk about food safety instead. That's an issue that is solvable. International trade is an important part of the global economy, and it's especially important for developing and least developed countries. The World Trade Organization is all about making trade flow more freely. But for food products, governments have the right to define product requirements to protect the health of consumers and to prevent the spread of plant pests and animal diseases, because protecting public health is necessary. Protectionism, on the other hand, is not. It is important that food safety issues are not used as a pretext to protect producers from foreign competition. Trade restrictive measures have to be in line with the SPS agreement. The agreement on the application of sanitary and phytosanitary measures, that's the full name, encourages governments to base their food safety measures on science and to follow internationally recognized food safety standards. The SPS agreement creates transparency by asking governments to share drafts of new regulations and laws. When exporters have advance notice, they can adapt and react to new requirements. Sometimes, a country may not like what they learn from a notification or may not understand how it may affect their exports. In these cases, the first step is to sit down and talk, voice their concerns and try to find solutions. By addressing concerns early on, SPS-related trade problems can be solved before they become full-blown trade conflicts. Imagine if government experts base their trade restricting measures on taste instead of science. Broccoli would fall on hard times. Have you tried pineapple on a pizza? <laughs>